Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, we're looking at Z. Z is a port of a bash uh, shell script that allows you to quickly navigate your file system uh, based on your command history uh, with the CD command. So um, this obviously is a port to PowerShell of Z. And what we can do is we can actually um, pretty much store our command history every time we use CD and then move between our file system really quickly with Z. So the way that Z works is it actually uses a uh, algorithm called FreeCency. So uh, the FreeCency algorithm is based on the frequency and the recency of uh, the paths that you are accessing on your file system. So here's a, a document that kind of demonstrates what the FreeCency algorithm is um, from Mozilla. So uh, based on that, Z determines which paths you need to go to. So if you access a path really uh, frequently or um, repetitively, it will suggest that path over maybe some other paths in your command history. So let's take a look at Z. So I've installed Z from the PowerShell uh, gallery and um, imported it into my session. And if I use Z-L, you'll see that it'll list all the folders that I'm accessing, or I've accessed with the CD command. So um, it just kind of keeps track of those folders. On the left, you'll see that we have this rank. The rank is kind of the, um, the frequency that I'm accessing that folder. And then we have a last access time, and that is the recency that I've accessed that folder. So you can see I access my desktop um, frequently, and it is the last thing that I actually accessed. So now if I were to do something like Z and type in DE, You'll see that it auto completes to desktop because desktop is ranked the highest. It's not only the highest ranked, but also the last accessed um, DE thing that I've, I've done. Um, you'll also notice that down here, you can also uh, have it keep track of any provider's path. So for example, it's keeping track of the registry here. So if I type ZESY, it's going to auto complete to uh, the HKLM system folder. Um, so every time that I access something new, so for example, if I do my source folder for Universal, what it's going to do is it's actually going to um, bump that rank up and change the last access time. So if I do a ZL again, you'll see that um, Universal is now uh, the second most ranked thing. Uh, it was last accessed the most frequently, uh, or the most recently, and it's been bumped up in rank. It used to be a 2, and uh, now it's a 3. So based on the free, or recency algorithm, it will pick that over other things that I may be looking for my, in my source folder. So you can see that I have a bunch of different um, projects here, or, uh, folders here that have like the word project in them, um, and scripts and demo. And you'll notice that this uh, list here is kind of ranked based on what it's, what it's going to select. So if I were to type demo, it's going to select this one over this one because of the recency algorithm. So if I do Oh, not DE, but I do demo, you'll see that it went to the, this demo folder over the project demo folder. So um, that's kind of how Z determines which folders to go to. So it's really handy if you, you know, maybe repeatedly go to your desktop or repeatedly go to your universal folder, um, or if you are maybe doing something frequently um, and you want to uh, have it go to that first. So uh, there's a couple of customization things you can do here. So if you have a folder that gets into your Z history and you don't want it anymore, you can navigate to that folder and then do dash X, and it'll actually remove that entry from the history in Z. So now if we do a list, you'll see that it no longer has that demo folder. And if I do Z demo, it's going to go to my project demo folder. Um, the other things that you can do are uh, you can have it uh, search by frequency or recency, but not use the frequency. So if you were to do something like demo, and then you can do option, and you can see there's uh, frequency, rank, and time. So um, if you want to just do by rank or just do by time, you can do that. And then it won't calculate the frequency, and it'll just use either the rank or the time based on um, kind of what you're looking for there. So uh, this is a pretty simple module. As you can see, it can make navigating around your file system a lot faster, especially if you have a lot of folders that you go to frequently. Um, I definitely suggest that you pull it down from the PowerShell gallery and give it a shot. Um, it's a pretty popular bash script, so uh, let's make it a pretty popular PowerShell module. If you like uh, other uh, videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel or check out the playlist of Module Mondays.